got your walkie-talkie, bro. <laughs> That's the special holder, dude. <laughs> There's nothing I can do, dude. I have ass crack and itis. So. It's a legit thing. It's medical. It is tech day, so we've been spending all morning getting all the rigs touched up, fixing the Pro R because I'm an idiot and rolled it yesterday. No! But things get saucy, man. Yep, yep. She's back though. She's gonna uh, be all right. Oh yeah, she's spring-loaded door. So that's kind of nice. And yeah, little I upgraded she's, it. Yeah, you actually came out a little better than what it was. <laughs> <laughs> but debatable. Debatable. <laughs> no, we're ahead of. We're gonna go ahead and attack. Uh, yep, mine, Jake, Zach's car, Lucy, all tacked in, and um, maybe we can get out on the track and get some practice in too. So that's the goal. Let's that go goal. practice. Yep. So here you go, Jake. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Rubber duck over over rubber ducky. All right, we made it to tack. Dang, dude, the time has come. Yeah, it's loaded up, man. It looks like a lot of racers. Heck yeah, man. It's happening. It's, it's happening. <laughs> Man, this is gonna be super intense. Yeah. We're in line here, next uh, line there. We gotta get ourselves tacked in and let this freaking voyage begin. Yeah. Dude, Deep Eddie Vodka, that's a hell of a sponsor right yeah. there. That's pretty so awesome. We need that sponsor. No, yeah. we, do no, not we don't need, need that Deep sponsor. Eddie to sponsor no us. Buddies. <laughs> not a fan. Wow, we are way back in line. This is gonna take a while. This line is very long. So. Yeah. Dang, dude. That's good. <laughs> worked on it in line. Yeah, we really should have. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we probably do need a sign in. probably do that. Yeah, guy. let's go sign in. Right. Sign in waivers and do doing, doing things. Doing race stuff. No, it's so official. Official. <laughs> She's got your flag. Yeah. This and a red or orange uh, flag are the only two. Okay. okay. Oh, I'm gonna pass. Whatever I can pass, I'm all that. <laughs> all right, we're at tech right now. Bad things are happening. It's no longer pro versus Joe. It's pro and Joe. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> they are very separate, and yeah. they cost a lot of different money. <laughs> There's a reason why there will be 500 sportsman oh. racers and five pro yep. because it's just unrealistic to yep. uh, have all the things that they're requiring. So Chief is sportsman. We're gonna try and get Nick into sportsman. They're waiting to see if there's they have room. Um, Jacob technically just needs a seatbelt. So we're gonna go see how much those are and if we can find some and, yeah. and maybe we can get them in. Are you? Hopefully. I mean, the other thing is, is these guys have raced pro how many times now? Three. Like you two, three. Yeah. But now it's an issue with some the same equipment they've used before. Yeah. It doesn't make any yeah. sense. Yeah. I mean, so I'm getting tagged for my helmet and neck brace. I have a DOT approved helmet. You need a Snell approved helmet. Uh, I don't have the right style neck brace. I need a completely different style neck brace. And this is just for pro class. Also, I have pro armor four point harnesses and pro armor doesn't make the SFI rated restraints that you're supposed to use for pro class. So. And here's the giant catch of all this. Yeah. We're racing on the same track. I know. <laughs> yeah. uh, but no, so for me to go race pro, I would literally have to go drop another thousand dollars probably today to get all the correct stuff. Not even that. We're in the middle of nowhere. I can't just go buy a approved Snell helmet. Yeah, we would have to go in here, here and you know it's going to be crazy would, expensive. Yeah, yeah, that's if they even sell it here. Yeah. I asked those guys, he said, I don't even think there's one for sale around here. You would have, I would have to drive hours to go pick that up. That happens, you have to call them. Or mm. five, and I'm not going to walk around and try and borrow someone's helmet. No. And stuff. I'm not doing that. So either we're going to get dropped in the sportsman yep. or... Um, or we're raising hell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, baby, yeah. All right. Keel's gonna get sauced up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go Keel. see if we can find you some seatbelts. Yeah. That's the only thing holding you back. Yeah. Yeah. And if it's outrageously expensive, we're all racing sports money. Yeah. He just needs one seatbelt. Just, just need one. one. Yeah. One seatbelt. Yeah. So let's see if we can get you going. Me, I'm pretty much. Uh, I'm out of luck for the pro <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to do. I it don't just have... makes for a good story, man. We're here. Oh, we're just yeah. here winging it. I've done every pro race. I've done every pro race. So if you don't win sportsman, dude, it just kind of like shows that sportsman's really the harder class. I guess, yeah. yeah. Dude, honestly, it's it... wild that, you know, they would approve all my safety gear and all the other pro races, but this time, not approved. 
Hey, we're gonna have a good time no matter yeah. what. It doesn't matter. And I got faith in my sportsman bros. They're gonna win anyway, mm -hmm. so it don't matter. They're way better than everybody else. Uh, I didn't well, think it's bigger. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it's All right, let's go, guys. Bye bye, Stone. Hello, son. It's a little crooked right there. It is a little crooked. It'll don't look right. at it. <laughs> All right, Jake found some belts. He's going to try and make them work. Thanks, Jaden Gerber. Yeah, dude. Like the Thanks, Gerber, bro. baby. Dude, man, Jaden, talking to you for a long time. It was cool to meet you, dude. Yeah, Thank yeah. You for helping so. me out, too. We ain't possibly racing against them tomorrow. Definitely. Possibly. Nope, yeah. As long as I pass tech. <laughs> yeah, as, long as the freaking stars are aligned and the universe is what doing right things for me, I'll pass tech. Yeah, me and Lauren just got some merch and nice, she's dude. not even in that car, so I pointed out for no reason. But <laughs> yeah, he's going to try to make it work. Hopefully, Jake at least can be in pro class because. He's the closest to be there compared to me and Nick. So we'll see what happens. Here. All right, yeah. Hook those suckers up, All dude. Right. What's the matter now? Oh, oh, nothing. I got, I'm in the sportsman class. Just bummed out that you're in sportsman? Oh, yeah, dude. I am bummed out. I, like, we've done all the. F I'm trying to hold back the swearing. <laughs> yeah, it just sucks, dude. It's like, so, I mean, Snow Scramble, third place pro. Mountain Scramble, fourth place pro. Stone scrambled. Ninth place pro. Not the best, but still top ten. All RS one time. All RS one time. I wanted to do nothing but race all the pro classes out here to like race all the good guys. And it's like I was really looking forward to racing the pro class in the sand because it's like if I secured a top five or ten tenth, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. the pro class in the sand, it's like it makes you I just feel like a fast dude in all the terrains. You know what I mean? Yeah. And just to also have to just do a sportsman. It, it like partially on the way through this race series it just sucks you know it's it doesn't feel the I mean, same it doesn't feel it. the same man it really doesn't it's just like you know we build our cars up to try to be pro i mean obviously we're not like the most professional team out there we're average joes dude we all yeah. have normal jobs we all bust our ass and uh to take a lot of pride in the racing man i love it more than anything and now to just have to get knocked down to the sportsman class oh it's cutting me it's cutting me right did you now. find a snow helmet no no Everybody knows you're actually a pro, dude. Ah, thanks, Everybody man. knows. I appreciate it, dude. It's just, you know, I mean, like, out of all the races we've done, dude, we've done really well. We've done well. Yeah. You know? It would have been sweet to be able to prove a point. It would be sweet to prove a point. That's really what it was. It's something to prove to myself and maybe, you know, everybody else and stuff. And it just kind of it bums me out a little bit. Yeah. You know? It really does. Whatever. It's okay. I'm not going to let it ruin the trip. I'm not going to let it ruin my day. But I am disappointed that I'm not in pro class and I have to race sportsman class. 100%. Who knows? Maybe I'll come in dead last in sportsman. Maybe everybody's really fast. In class. <laughs> we'll so, find out. Uh, number I drew. Did they? Did you tell them the number you got? Uh, I got 120 something. 155. 155. So I'm gonna be kind of starting in the back. So I think the way this race is gonna get laid out. No, I think those sportsmen. It starts so like sportsman starts at like 100. 101, I think. 101, said. yep. So I'm realistically 55 cars back. Pretty yeah. far back. 54. Far, 54. <laughs> 54. Yeah, bad and, and so this isn't going to be like rows like it was before. Like, oh, I started in the second row, third row, fourth row. This is going to be, I'm in the first heat, second heat, third heat mm -hmm. kind of thing. I'll tell you what, man. Like I said, I love the racing. I love it more than anything. But the one thing I learned about racing, dude, this year is it's how much money you got and who do you know? Yeah, yeah, I hate yeah. to say that, dude. I hate to say yeah, that. It does feel like it, that. It kind of does feel like that. I mean, it's discouraging, but what do you Whatever, mean? we learned something. Can I get Sonic the Hedgehog? She's been hunting this truck down for a minute. And of course, I'm in the thank you. I weighed it down for you. I, I know, but I was I'm going to the bathroom. The one second I'm like, I'm going to run and go pee. Hear the sucker coming by. I'm like, ice cream! I ran her down. I couldn't decide, but I ultimately went with Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Jake is just uh, wrapping up what he thinks is going to get him in the pro class. We'll find that out in a second. He's going to get in. I and feel then it. we're either going to go practice or drive to somewhere to watch the sunset. Yeah, we run out of day like quick. Yeah, it's been, so. a, it's been a rough day. It has been a rough day, but you know what? We're going to make the most of it. It's going to be okay. Yeah. All right. It's got the green gumball eyeballs. <laughs> Jake is going to check in. I'm going to make sure my Pro R is all good. Uh, just a few zip ties on the door to hold up the upper frame. Uh, man, the paint's a bit messed up, if you can see. Uh, it's not as bad as, I don't know. 
the sand is forgiving luckily basically gonna need a new door frame and it's spring loaded now so check that out fancy it actually improved itself how do you get so fancy <laughs> all right lauren's gonna shred with me yeah you're about to go fly fighter jets let me see You guys right now are certified badasses. I just want to say that. This might be the only time I, I'll say I'm Goose just so she doesn't die. You're Goose, <laughs> Maverick. I'm always Maverick, let's be honest. <laughs> That's awesome. You guys got the look. <laughs> one person made it yeah freak yeah dude why are you getting out like the dukes like, of hazard door latch so i can burn up and die faster it's what they do. <laughs> <laughs> it's harder to get out of your car <laughs> strapped in tighter and lock yes. the door that's so, uh, well, so that, yeah I'm, that's awesome yeah Number it's seven. my best pick ever so oh I've, yeah dude so far i've gotten like 53 and then 40 and now i got seven so maybe the, the Karma's starting to come back to us. <laughs> She's uh, a little fired up there earlier. <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, you made it. What did they say about the seatbelts? Anything? No. Nope. That was it. He was like, they're blue. They're blue. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. He's like, yep. Yeah. The first launch. You mother. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, what else? I guess that's it. Yeah, well, I guess we're kind of like just getting ready now and oh drivers meeting is that seven? Yeah, yeah, but we also might be able to go practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I see yeah we, we probably could Maybe try and go jump yeah. on that track for a little bit. Let's yeah. try. Let's see if All we right. can do it. All right Well, I think we've made it to the race course But I doubt we're gonna be able to practice on it because it literally says active race course Please stay out. But man, what a beautiful sight. This is crazy looking. I want to get there. All right, I had to go find Nick and Jake, and I can see the Red Bull team has uh, already found them. Give them a little interview. I just ran up a hill. Look at that sunset. Woo! I'm out of breath. Yeah. Don't run. Not a good idea. We were here in person and thought, how the hell did I miss that? So thank you guys for being here. Make sure you do pay attention because if you miss a pylon, it's <laughs> like not completing a lap. All right. All right, we just wrapped up with tech, found out some rules that we needed to know. We just had some really spicy tacos. <laughs> yeah, that too. They were burning my mouth. Luckily, we have what is that? Water. Beer water. It looks like a beer, but it's water. <laughs> yeah. It's uh it's only the best water you can get. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna rip back to the house and we'll talk about a little bit about the race and everything here, away from the music and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Uh just kinda let you guys know what we just heard here at Driver Tech, how they're gonna lay it out, time schedules, the works. So the works. Let's go. It's the next morning, dude. It's uh, race day. Yeah, Red Bull Sand Scramble. Today is the day. Uh-huh. I'm 
going to be in heat number two. Yep. Nick's in heat number three. You're in heat number four, correct? Four or five, yeah. So we're all yep. pretty much lined up in our heats. Yeah, we're ready. We're all separated, so we all get to watch each other. The rules are top eight of each heat moves on to the race. Right. And then there, the loser's bracket does have one more try to make it in, and that's later in the day. Yep. Right now, we're headed there to start doing our pre-run lap. Oh, yeah. And, uh... Lay it down. Lay it down, dude. Hey, go Murray Trophy, today, boys. boys. I see it in our future. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's the gooseies. <laughs> it's go time, boys. Let's do uh, it. And Lauren's going to be uh, taking the old pro R there. I'm thinking she's going to have fun this morning. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <I'm> sure. <laughs> Axel popped out. Uh, dude, I, <laughs> he is, I'm having <laughs> problems all over the place, man. He's put a lot of time and money into this car to make it ready for this race, all because of the RS1 not having enough power, which it doesn't for this race in particular. And sure enough, it just seems like can't catch a break. My yep. axle popped out for no reason. Uh, the front axle on the way here, and uh, we just can't figure out what's going on. And, Blowing and we have it's like crazy, man problems which luckily kind of went away i don't know dude uh you want to talk about discouraging it's like <laughs> getting into my head with this freaking car dude Ugh. Ugh. i i really wish that didn't happen because like yesterday was such like uh felt like <laughs> oh yeah we felt like whiners just because uh, all the issues we're having like no more whining positivity here to kick ass then this happens so it's a big bummer because the thing is, is nick doesn't want to just destroy his car for sand hollow right. uh and uh, i don't know if he has enough self-control that when he's racing that he could stop if he knows hey, this, no, I don't have to <laughs> burn this thing so hey worst comes to worst dude you could take my turbo s if it does break when we're in sand hollow if i don't break yeah look at this lineup though yeah that's uh there's a lot of people over there getting ready to go do that sight lap fingers oh, crossed man. the sucker just stays in dude and we ripped so hard the first day that we rode and it never did it so i don't get why it's doing it now because we're trying it's important now it's a race it's yeah important. because we're about to race it matters. Run. <laughs> man here we go. This is gonna be the starting line, guys. We gotta whiz up that mountain of a hill. So the whole concept is like, once you get around that, I already forgot what it is, that balloon thing, you gotta get to the next one. So it's all by eyesight, man. They're ripping up it. The assortment of cars is crazy. Turbo Hondas, Pro R is up the wazoo. Tons of Razors, Yamahas, you name it, it's here right it now. It's here, dude, for real. The lineup of cars is next level. Also, too, these are West Coast guys. Like, these guys put a lot of money in their cars and make some really, 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 really sweet builds. I mean, just looking out, there's some impressive stuff here. So, definitely gonna have some competition ahead of us. Yeah, but, that's uh, a bad statement. Yeah, but uh, I still feel like we can throw it down, man. Yeah. The you biggest know? thing here is that we're just not used to this riding. We're so. not. This is definitely a hundred percent out of our element. I mean, I can tell you, I can probably count on one and a half hands how many times I've been to Silver Lake. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's, I mean, it's, that's realistically that's true. It is, man. We've maybe had. I mean, for all the style of riding we've done, sand is the least amount we've been in. Probably. Oh, for sure. I mean, yeah. more snow, ice, trails, hills, all that kind of stuff. The dunes are, it's, uh, I might, like, I'd say the dunes are almost like a treat when we go there. Exactly, you know? it's true. So, now to come and race it, is it, it is out of our element, but, I mean, uh, after shredding a couple days ago, had a pretty good grasp on it, and yeah. feel like we can hold it down. This is the bigger section of the dunes, so it's definitely, you can see more and have a better idea of like where you're carving to where we're at in the flats. Oh, it's yeah. super tight. You know? I'd say uh, after the race, we come back over this way and 
I mean, you can post up right here and just watch everybody just shred and carve. Oh, yeah. Last night was the hardest sleep since we got here because all I could hear was everybody having fun on a Friday night and we're in bed at 9.30. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> like, that, really that's hard. just not us. Yeah, I know, man. For real, for real. <laughs> Probably a decent sized track actually. 2.8 miles, three laps for the for the heats, and then for the final race, five laps. Okay. So Alright. Each race should take around 15-ish to 20 minutes. 15 to 20-ish. If nobody uh, messes up hardcore. Yep. Alright. We had to go get our transponders. And now it's time to finally rip this freaking course. Our buddy here, JR, is gonna hopefully show us around. Oh, it's clipped in like that. I mean, I can't no, tell no, where the hell I'm going. It's, it's hard, even it's hard, it's hard, isn't it's hard. It's really but... scaring me a couple times. I'm like, <laughs> I can't tell. It was just difficult because, like, you can't tell the lines and you can't tell if you went around all the pil pylons. We, and... I'm pretty sure we did. If he wasn't leading me, I would have a hard time knowing where to go. Yeah. All right, we just did our sight lap. Um, yeah, this is a lot different than anything we've ever done. For sure. <laughs> oh my for gosh. sure. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Just navigating is gonna be the technical part. Yeah, I, like if for some reason I was in front, everyone's going the wrong way if they follow me. Yeah, 100%. I'm not gonna lie, I can't be out front for the first couple laps or whatever. I'm gonna have to make, position myself one, two, three behind somebody. Yeah, what sucks is that they did the parade lap but didn't have an official just lead everybody so we know 100% that's the way that we went around all the pylons. Yeah, you guys did go the wrong way on one of the pylons. He was pointing, was Yeah. Yep, I saw him. Yeah, the top over there, um, you guys went left of the pylon, you gotta go right. So you always have to be right of the pylon? No, you just gotta be, whatever side the flags are on is the side oh. you gotta be on. Like up there, see how the flags are on the right side? Yeah. You gotta pylon, be on that that side. means you're going around the pylon to the left on the right side of the pylon. Right. It gets a little gnarly over there, dude. It gets, there's some secret job offs you gotta remember. Oh yeah, there's definitely, like when we got up to the top of here, I'm like, oh, that's that jump thing that everybody was launching off last that's year. I'm like, bigger. I'm like, you don't want to jump off this. Yeah. That would be, that's an axle breaker. Yeah, mine will just pop out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did it stay in? It stayed in. All right, you're what good. Do, what'd you think, though? I mean, what do you think of the whole navigating? Like, trying to look it's off. It's going to be the... tough. Yeah. So, like, if you're out, if I get out front, I'm going to be like, oh, crap. I don't know where to go. Let up a little bit. Let somebody go yeah. in front of you. All right, we got the first heat about to come up. Guess what, guys? It's a wrap for this video. Stay tuned to the next one. See what happens in this race. It's going to be a doozy, guys. We don't know what we're doing. We don't know what we got ourselves into. <laughs> this track yeah. is intense. It's going to be intense. Yep. Hit up all of our links below. DirtDudesUTV.com for all the AA parts that make our cars go fast. Hit up yep. Patreon because there's longer videos yep. for all the series of Glamis. Okay. And Sand Hollow coming up yeah. next. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Stay tuned. We're racing. Let's go. Yeah.
Yeah. <laughs>